Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about voice uh, resurgence, and this is definitely an interesting speculation because if it is in Modern Masters 2017, its price will tank to under $7, under $5 maybe, even as a mythic. But the card has been going down from its initial high of $60 from Oath of the Gatewatch all the way down to under $20. In fact, there are places you can buy for $14 near Mint. So as a card, this is the one card in Dragon Maze worth more than $10, uh, minus the Shocklands, which are not really part of Dragon Maze. But overall, the set has no value in it except this card. So that's why I cannot, I, my guess would be they would not choose this to be reprinted. Although they reprinted Domi Rod, which is kind of an interesting one. However, if they reprint this card and they tank its card to under $5 or under $7 and there's no $10 card in Dragon Maze, that is iffy for a set. There's so many people who have so many stores, including my locals, that have cases of Dragon Maze they cannot get rid of. There's no card that you would want to open a pack of Dragon Maze and be like, oh, I'm looking for that card, except for this one. And its price is already tanking. It's, it has not gone up. Uh, and this is a graph. When you look at it, it's a very sad graph because there's really no hope. It's a consistent down, consistently going down until you know, eventually it hits $10 maybe, even naturally, barring a reprint. Now, should it not be reprinted, that's when it gets interesting because then I could say, okay, this is an interesting speculation. So it's a high risk, high reward speculation. If it is reprinted, there's no way to get out and you are going to get hosed. If it's not reprinted, this card should go back up. Uh, it should easily go up from $14 back to it's at least 25 uh, pretty much within a few weeks should it not be reprinted. And that's kind of the game of Modern Masters 2017. You don't really know what is in it and what is not, unless you are a store that has the list early. So there's been lots of lots of different price changes uh, that don't make sense to me. Um, the same with uh, Bitter Blossom back in the day when some people knew Bitter Blossom was going to be unbanned and they bought out every single bit of Blossom even though they bought them at prices that made no sense unless you expected it to be unbanned. The same can be said with a lot of other cards. Leaks do happen, uh, and it's very logical why they happen because people have the Wizard of the Coast gives different um, cards to spoil to different people, and those people are independent contractors. They are not even contractors probably. They're just community members. And of course, they want to share with their friends, oh, hey, Lilia the Veil vale is getting reprinted. I'm going to spoil her, or etc. So Voice of Resurgence, very interesting price graph. It's not a bad card, but for it to be at $14, man, that it just doesn't seem very natural to me for a card that powerful, a card that played, and a card that does have home in various um, decks, uh, including my favorite deck, Malera. Uh, it's not. It doesn't have pod anymore, but I still call it Malera Pod, uh, which it's very, very good in. Um, it is just a strong overall two drop, uh, which is what you want to see in modern. So anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.